here we look at geometric card tricks. Now you may not have heard of geometric card tricks before, but we can actually take advantage of the geometry of cards and the images printed on them to accomplish some very surprising things. So I have a deck of cards here, and so we need uh, maybe about a third of it. So if you were here, I'd have you just cut off some you know, a good chunk of cards there. Maybe that's enough right there. Um, or we could just deal them to the table. Okay, so what I need you to do, well, we can mix the cards um, as much as you would like here. We can could have you mix them. We could um, go ahead and just, you know, deal them out into piles. And you can decide how to stack these. Maybe you want that one on top, on top of that one. Uh, we can do it into four piles. In fact, we deal different numbers into each, if you would like. It doesn't actually matter. Then randomly stack and so forth. Okay. And now what I need you to do is just randomly choose one of the cards. It truly is a random choice. So maybe you choose that one right there. Okay. Take a look at it. Now, unfortunately, because um, I don't have a spectator here, um, I'm going to have to see the card, which is, in this particular case, is very unfortunate. But I'll explain to you how it would actually work if you had a spectator and they saw the card and you didn't as a performer. Okay, so it looks like they chose the three of spades, okay? And then what you do is you have them randomly put it wherever they would like. Okay, within the others. They truly can. And then from here, you can actually mix the cards as much as the spectator would like. Mix these as much. We can go back to uh, dealing into piles, uh, whatever, you know, quantity that you would like, and then randomly stack these. That's just fine. Great. Okay. Um, and then we can do some, what, Charlier shuffles or just some real mixing here. Okay, so once the spectator is convinced that the cards are mixed, uh, what we can do at this point is we're going to use our intuition to discern uh, what card the spectator actually saw. So uh, I'll look into your eyes for just a moment without it being uh, overly creepy and then try to see if I can now discern what card you have in mind that you saw. So we're going to go, ahead and go through these. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I actually think it's this one, but right off, but okay. No, that's the only one I'm feeling good about. Now, I want you right now, as you try to puzzle through what I'm doing, see if you can figure out what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the geometry. What geometry would I be focused on? And how would that geometry help me to know that this is the card that you saw? Okay. Now, it is true. I saw it as well, um, but I could have found it nonetheless. So what is it about the geometry of these cards that would allow me to find the spectator's card without fail? Okay, well, that's what we're going to talk about first. What are called one-way cards. Okay, so this is a geometric feature of cards. Okay, so what I want you to do is focus on, so we're going to look at the, um, we'll look at the card you actually chose first. Uh, three of spades. Okay, so look at these um, little spades. Do you see that two of them are pointing that way and only one this way? Okay, and that if you turn it over, it's the opposite. You have two pointing this way and then this little guy pointing up. Okay, so this is an example of a quote one-way card depending on how you orient it it technically can be discerned as different from the other orientation. So why don't we have them all face um, up, face, uh, you know, away from us. So these two little guys point away. So that would be a one-way card that's pointing away. 
Now what about, I'm going to just rotate this because I know what I had already set up. <laughs> so look at the ace. In your mind's eye, can you see that maybe that's pointing that way because of the club there? Now look at the pattern here. We have one, two, three, four, five that are kind of pointing this way and only four this way. So you go with the majority. So we would say the orientation of this card is is outward. It's you know away from me, the uh, performer. Okay. Uh, what about here? I guess this one I would have to rotate. <laughs> um, so this one here, uh, those in some sense cancel out, right? We have two there, but we have three going up there. So that would be the correct orientation to have the majority of them pointing that way. Okay, now what about this one? Can you see how there's five pointing that way and only three this way? So that would be the correct orientation. Same thing here, four. And then here it would be, um, yeah, so you have all five of these are pointing that way, only two the, the other way. Those two are pointing up. Here it's five pointing that way and so forth. Okay, three pointing that way. Okay, so there is a way to discern which way this card is turned according to the geometry of the image here. So that's pointing that way. Same, we have four pointing that way. Now this one, you can just make a decision and say, well, I have a majority of them above. So as you can think of that as pointing that way. You could, you could count that as a one-way card or not if you find that confusing. Um, okay, and pointing that way and so forth. Now it's not true that all cards are quote one-way cards. Okay, so that's important to know. So that's pointing that way. So those particular cards are one-way cards, but some of these others are not, like that one. There's really no way to discern a difference between, uh, you know, right now, moving in this direction versus that in terms of how you read it. Same thing there. See, the problem here is it's perfectly symmetric, right? Same thing there. You have two hearts pointing down, two up. Okay, that's not helpful. Okay, one club that way, one club this way. Not helpful, not helpful, not helpful. So none of these, um, yeah. So you have five hearts down, five up, right? Five spades up, five spades down. Okay, so none of these are quote one way cards, okay? So what you can do if you wanted to work with a shuffle deck. Now I what I did is I pulled out a bunch of one-way cards and had them at the top. Okay? And then I just have you choose, you know, no more than that number. So I know that these are all one-way cards. And then what you do is you you can have these mixed as much as you would like. Just don't rotate them. <laughs> don't rotate them. Keep them in the same rotation, uh, same orientation, okay? And then you can even deal into piles. It actually doesn't matter how many you put into each pile. Just don't rotate the cards with random stacking. That won't hurt the um, features that we're focused on, okay? Now, if you want to peek here, it looks like all of the cards are going away from us, which is fine. So at this point, what you do is you just have the spectator freely choose any card. So maybe they choose this one here. So all you have to do is as you're taking the cards back, you know, just kind of, because they're focused on looking at their card, rotate the packet. That's all I did. It was this direction. As I collect them, I just rotate it. Okay. Now it is true you have to kind of keep an eye on them as they look at it. Make sure they're not doing this sort of thing. Right, because then you'll have to rotate your packet back. <laughs> so just kind of keep an eye on and make sure that they're kind of holding it the, the way that they pulled it out. And now they're free to put it anywhere. It doesn't actually matter. In fact, we probably should see what it is so you can see. Okay. And now it will be easy to spot, right? Because, so watch. Um, so if we go through here and look at it and go, hmm, I'm trying to 
discern what card you actually saw. What card did you see? Um, well, you can see right here that the major. This is a one-way card uh, moving, uh, pointing towards us this time. Right, the majority of those little. So all of these cards will be pointing towards us, the performer, except for the spectators, and then you'll know, right? So pointing towards us, pointing towards us, towards us, majority, right? Same thing here, uh, same thing here, towards us, very good, towards us, towards us, away from us, eh, right? Two clubs, well, that away. <laughs> so you know that's their card. These are towards us, the majority of the little images there. So hearts, majority of it. this one's towards us. And we have two spades pointing towards us and one away. So you would know, you know, you could really mix these cards, just don't rotate them. And boy, you could just milk this for so much because you could claim that you're you know, reading their mind or, um, you know, their body language is giving away which card it is and have a lot of fun, you know, with that. Uh, but you can, once those cards are spread out or going through them one at a time, you can find their card perfectly without making a mistake. You'll know for sure which card is theirs, even though you didn't see the identity of the card. Okay, so that's a fun way to take advantage of the geometry of the images on these cards. Okay, so one-way cards is one way to go. Uh, by the way, let me just kind of mix these in a bit. You can start with a shuffle deck for this. Okay, you can start with a shuffle deck. Like, let me just kind of move. We, we really want these mixed up a bit. Okay, so you just have to realize that some cards are one-way cards. Some cards are not. And as you go through these, if these are all, some of these are rotated different ways, even the one-way cards, some of them will be moving, uh, pointing one direction and some of them another direction, okay? So what you can do, even with a shuffle deck as a set, yeah, you can do this in front of the spectator. Just have them hand you a shuffle deck, which is wonderful, so no preparation. So you would just go through it and you just tell the spectator that you're looking for um, psychic cards or special cards um, that you know have certain properties that will allow you to perform the coming routine or however you want to kind of explain that. You go, hmm, oh, those are no good. So you toss away the ones you don't want as if they're like rejects or there's something wrong with them. They're not psychic cards. So you come over here, okay, here's a one-way card. Now, just you can decide on, do you want to collect the one-way cards that point you know, away from you or towards you? Because it really is your choice. So if you're wanting to collect the ones that point towards you, then you say, oh, that's a good one. That feels like a good one. And that one's a good one. Uh, that one's a good one. Uh, that one's a good one. That one's a good one. Nah, I'm not feeling it. Nope. Ah, that's good. Now, you don't have to show them. I mean, you can, they can see what you're doing here. They don't have to be looking at the, the faces of the cards right now and go, uh, no good. But I'm kind of showing them uh, to you. Now, this one points towards us. It's one-way card points towards us. Great. Nah, nah, garbage. Good. No good. Now, once you get a, a, a big enough, no, that's one way, but it's pointing away from us. We don't want that away from us. So once you get a good collection here, then that's the little packet that you would work with. You go, nope, nah, nah, garbage, garbage, throw away, burn those, no use, okay? So we're looking for ones that point towards us. Mm, boy, we're not having a lot of success here, nah. Oh, uh, no good, no good. Ah, there aren't too many good cards in here. I suppose if you're having terrible success, you can like rotate the deck. <laughs> uh, this is a good one. Mm, ah, no good, no good, no good. Now you have to realize that I had them pointing the same way and I tried to change their orientation. That, that one's a good one. 
Uh, no good. Mm, nah. Uh, let's see, that's a way. Nah. Okay, so we got a little packet. You probably would do better than this in practice. It's because I went through and I put all the one-way cards and already ended them the same way. <laughs> so that, but if they're randomly oriented, uh, you can probably get more than this and not have to go through the whole deck. So you can say, well, these are the special cards that we're going to work with. And it ends up, it doesn't matter how many there are. It might be nice to have more than this. I suppose a way to do that is just, you know, turn the deck and go back and pick up some more, right? <laughs> if you want. Uh, but anyway, this will suffice for now. So these are all pointed the same way, you know, in the process of kind of showing the cards, you can remind yourself which way it is. They're pointing towards you, right? <laughs> Majority. So towards you. And so you would just do what I said. Just have them choose a card at random. And then as you gather these, you know, just kind of, you know, kind of rotate them casually or whatever. And now they're pointing the opposite way to that one. As long as this one doesn't get switched by the spectator. Uh, so what is it? It's that. So they put it anywhere in there. And so that's going to work for us.